What is up guys this is TSG Reviews and stuff back here with another video and today I will be doing a follow up review on the Pixel 4a. Now this review will mostly consist uh, of some issues that I have been facing with this phone and some downsides and some good things that have happened to me over the past 3 months. Now uh, these issues are not the same uh, like I had mentioned in my previous review. You can click the card right here in order to check it out. Uh, those are some basic, you know, uh, general issues that I have been having with the phone. But in this review, I will be talking about some issues that I have been facing, which are uh, limited to some users, and tech media hasn't even covered a single topic about it. So let's go ahead and start with this review without wasting any time. So first of all, let's just talk about the build quality. Now, if you've seen my previous video. Uh, the review on the Pixel 4a, I praised uh, the build quality a lot. So, I mean, I was pretty happy with the plastic bag and it was great. But now I have been facing some big issues and that is the creaking sound. Now, what I mean by that is if you uh, press around the power button, uh, let me just bring it here so you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear this, but uh, yeah, this is around the same tree. So, um, I, th I think you heard that. Uh, this issue had actually happened uh, occurred before I sent this phone, uh, like before I made my uh, full review on this phone. That was when I sent this to B2X. Uh, for repair so then they didn't charge me anything it was all free because it was covered under warranty and uh, after I got the phone repaired I didn't have any other issues but now like after two weeks of uh, using the phone I have been facing the same issue over and over again and it's this is very consistent like you can hear it almost all the time and then I got in touch with Google again and they said that uh, they, after they uh, contacted the, with the technical team they said that this issue will remain even if you get, send this phone for the repair. This issue is 100% normal, it's nothing to worry about, it's a poly, polycarbonate back. I don't know, like the previous uh, customers, like whoever the person was, I communicated with, Go in the, uh, with the Google support team, one of them said that this is some an issue that you should not be facing and now this guy is saying that th this issue is this is not an issue this is basically a, a very normal thing to happen with polycarbonate packs now i have used some plastic phones pre prior to this and i have to say i never noticed this issue before so i don't know how this is normal maybe this is some issue with the engineering the way they designed it because I mean even though this is cheap there are some cheaper phones out there which don't which have the plastic back which feel cheaper than this but don't have the same issue so this is some this is a big issue actually and many people are facing this I got in touch with them through reddit and uh, they have they are facing the same issue so I don't know Google if you're watching this please please pay attention to this thing hopefully this issue isn't repeated uh, it really spoils the overall experience with the phone. So this is my one major issue with the phone. Now the second is the auto brightness. Now this is not restricted to, uh, this is actually restricted to quite a few people, not a lot of them actually. Uh, like many people were complaining before they got the, I think November security patch. Uh, many were saying that, you know, they were facing this big issue with the auto brightness, This it was not well calibrated. But for me, it was pretty well calibrated. I didn't have any uh, issues in, uh, with that. But as soon as Google launched more updates like November, December, now January, yeah, the auto brightness is kind of screwed up for me. Now, I don't know why, but uh, it's not well calibrated. Sometimes when I use the phone, the screen is too dim and during the night, it's too bright. It's not well calibrated. I don't know if this is just me, but I'm pretty sure I didn't face the same issue before that. So hopefully this issue is fixed and if you're facing the same issue do let me know down in the comments guys it is important do let me know down in the comments regarding all the issues that I am facing right now if you're facing the same thing. 
so this is uh, the second issue which um, actually recently now this issue is not that consistent so maybe it got fixed or maybe I'm now more used to it but this issue is there definitely now ne next I want to talk about the flashing text now I don't know how to exactly say this but when you are using your phone in pitch black all right just pure darkness and your brightness your phone brightness is all the way low I think lower than this and you try to uh, you know uh, like scroll your screen like that all right you scroll through your text and everything you will notice a purple trail across your text now I think one person mentioned this already in my previous video I'll just uh, leave the screenshot right here um, initially I didn't get exactly what uh, they were trying to say but now I think I know exactly what they're trying to say and this issue is very consistent in uh, when it's all pitch black and your brightness is all the way low so uh, but me personally I don't use my phone a lot in the dark but yeah when I use it I do notice this issue I don't know how to sh show this to you but you will notice that purple uh, trail I think you can notice that that flashing the, the text is kind of flashing that's basically the purple trail I'm actually facing so this is an issue which many people are again facing and again none of the tech media like Android Authority, Android Central, Android Police, Phone Arena or GSM Arena none of them are covering this issue which is surprising so like that's pretty weird to be honest guys so this is my third issue which I faced not a very pro not a big deal breaker for me but it's an issue that you need to know about before purchasing this device now uh, this issue I have already mentioned this in my previous uh, review but I wanted to just you know let you know about this uh, is it's the camera app so whenever you delete the photo use um, on the pixel 4a uh, your camera app suddenly freezes or basically what it does is it skips to the next photo uh, once you delete it it's kind of hard to explain you can see it from the uh, this video, little small video right there so this is the issue that I'm facing and uh, many others are facing the same issue I went on reddit and majority of the people are facing this issue and some of the pixel 5 users are facing the same so this is pretty weird and I got in touch with Google again actually got them to go in touch with them thrice and so um, like they sent me an email and they got in touch with the team they said that you should give your phone for the repair now I was like hold up isn't that a software bug like what does hardware have to do with the this freezing uh, thing with the pixel 4a I don't see any issue with the hardware then I told him uh, told the customer service uh, that you know I don't think so this is the issue with the hardware it's with the software I'm pretty sure because many people are saying that they face this issue after they uh, updated the phone to Android 11 now me I got my phone for uh, with pre-installed with Android 11 because you know this phone reached quite late in India so I didn't get the chance to t use this phone with Android 10 so I can't really say but according to the people and according to uh, what I've heard this issue came with Android 11 so I, I think Android 11 is to be blamed now that person said that yes uh, we, we will send this same uh, this issue to the developers team so that they, they can take a look at that and they told me to just leave a feedback in the uh, camera uh, settings so I did that and I actually did that twice or thrice and I didn't get like they didn't fix it at all so what I would recommend doing is guys you should like spam uh, the same issue and over and over again to in Google forms the pixel forms whatever just keep throwing this stuff at Google so that they can finally uh, come up with something to fix this an annoying issue all right so that is a big issue that I'm facing hopefully this is fixed with Android 12 now uh, this issue uh, actually happened uh, like I was experiencing this before I performed the factory reset on this phone so uh, I actually did this twice and now this issue is I think gone and that's the new Google Assistant UI it's basically the speed at which it recognizes my voice and it just you know uh, analyzes it and just gives you the result 
that delay is quite a bit and uh, I compared it with my S9 Plus and Asus ROG Phone 3 which are, which are still rolling with the old Google UI design, uh, Google Assistant UI design so to actually perform factory uh, reset twice and now finally I think this issue is gone because now whenever I ask Google something it's pretty fast let's just perform it right now what's the weather for today so now it's pretty fast so if you're facing the same issue do try and factory reset this it might help okay now let's talk about the gesture navigation now um this I am talking about the, uh, the transition and the animation so like uh, I think when you received the December security update along with featured Google feature drop that famous feature drop uh, I think this you got this from the pixel 5 and the 4a 5g so what I'm talking about is like for example some apps are open in the background so like for example I have these apps now the new transition is when you swipe home they go towards from left uh, from right to left uh, that's the new transition now sometimes it's a bit glitchy and specifically like whenever you're going through some apps you you just uh, like right now you just notice the apps uh, went from uh, right to left again sometimes this is really buggy and you don't see that animation that issue is quite inconsistent hopefully this issue is fixed with Android 12 fingers crossed they do fix this issue uh, on the Pixel 4a and yes sometimes uh, this is actually quite consistent uh, like if you've ever used an iPhone with the gesture based navigation like let's say uh, iPhones which came after iPhone 10 and upwards um, as you can see this navigation gesture right here if you scroll let's say to your Google discovery you will notice this transparent uh, bar let me just focus and uh, like if you use your Google uh, Gmail then you will not notice the same thing so this is highly very inconsistent and I hope Google fixes the same issue with Android 12 We're looking forward to that so that is the gesture navigation and now this is actually very important this is the haptic issue which I'm having with the phone not exactly a haptic issue but it's the touch sound I am experiencing with this phone whenever you uh, turn on your let's say your uh, sound uh, which includes all the touch sounds and your keyboard sounds you will notice uh, some uh, inconsistency actually quite a few inconsistencies in the sound sometimes when you tap non-stop you will notice a sudden down uh, fall in the sound and suddenly it will just rise up uh, gradually which is very annoying now I did notice the same issue uh, with the keyboard actually I did but right now I'm not able to you know uh, experience it so let's try it with the toggle I just okay there's a sudden drop in the volume there's it See, there is no volume at all. And now you can hear it again. Hopefully you can uh, hear this issue. I don't know if you actually got that. But this is the issue which I'm facing a lot of times. I did post the same issue on Reddit and one person replied that they were also facing the same issue and they actually had to turn off the touch sounds. Now, um, I don't know this. this is hardware, is this a hardware issue? Probably not because the haptics are perfect on this phone. But uh, the touch sounds, they are way too inconsistent and I can't, cannot use it at all. However, the funny thing is if I use Microsoft Swift key, uh, let's just open this up. Now I've uh, opened this uh, Microsoft uh, keyboard, uh, Swift, Swift key, and the sound is very consistent. On this keyboard, the sound is very consistent. I don't have any issues with it at all. Never noticed a single 
drop in sound quality or the loudness it's perfect here so that means it has to do with the Google's the uh, software on this phone something like that which is hampering this ish uh, like this touch sound and I hope Google fixes this issue and again if you're facing this exact same issue do let me know down in the comments guys it's important and do let Google know about this spam it all right that's what we need to do right now so that I have covered it now let's talk about the good things actually there are only two of them but I think they're worth mentioning and that is number one the battery life and whoa ever since I got the January update the battery life on this phone has been insane it has been very good I have got almost uh, from I, I, it has jumped from five and a half hours of screen on time to six and a half hours of screen on time consistently now that is excluding gaming uh, that is excluding uh, gaming and actually to be honest uh, when I got five and a half hours of screen on time I didn't play any games so am I actually my usage patterns didn't change and I got this sudden increase in the battery life which is pretty good because now as you can see this phone has 3140 milliamp power battery and despite her having such a small uh, battery capacity you are getting a fantastic battery life it can easily last me a day and actually a, a day and a half for casual users and for me a day and one fourth of the next day so this is actually a very good thing I'm really happy Google nailed it in this department and good job all right good job Google now let's talk about another good thing that I forgot to mention in my previous review uh, that was the framing hints with the phone now let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about uh, so this is what I'm talking about as you can see these two crosses these basically make sure your phone is at the correct angle as well as this phone is parallel to the ground which is a really good thing earlier I wasn't getting uh, earlier I used to just get um, this hint to just to make sure that the phone is parallel to the ground but if it's like that or that you don't get to know about that now finally you do especially uh, like if you even if you like uh, use portrait mode uh, you can see these two lines which make sure that your phone is uh, perpendicular to the ground and also it is parallel to the uh, object you're focusing at so that's a really good feature that they have added with the uh, gcam 8.1 version i think that's the one and this is a pretty good thing I'm really happy about it so uh, guys these are the only uh, things that I've noticed so far which I've not uh, mentioned in my previous review and I hope Google fixes those issues again if you're facing these same issues do let me know down in the comments guys because this would help many others and it's also me to make sure that I'm not the only one who's facing these issues so guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you like this i hope you found this video helpful i made this video keeping in mind the issues that are not mentioned by other people uh because you know like those issues are like there are almost thousands thousands of videos mentioning the same issues over and over again that's the you know maybe the battery life maybe the lack of ultra wide camera or your um low ref uh, 60 hertz refresh rate so like I wanted to dig deeper into that and focus on some technical issues which you might face in your day-to-day -day usage. So I, if you are facing this issue again, uh, do let Google know about it. We need to get their attention and they should resolve these issues as soon as possible if they're actually resolvable through software. So again, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you know the drill, you know what to do and do check my full review on this phone. So, I'll see you soon guys with another important and a fun video. So stay tuned for it. Peace out.